there was always going to be an extent to that anyway. No matter who misses out, there's always going to be a bit of controversy. But I don't think anyone saw Devon Toner's omission coming, really. Um, maybe had had a couple of injuries issues this year, but certainly has been a, a stalwart for Joe Schmidt the whole way through, even with Leinster as well. Like, Scott, from your point of view, obviously you played a lot with Dev. Was that a surprise to you that he, he oh, missed yeah. out? Big surprise. I think it was the whole squad was, you know, every guy that I talked to the other morning was just, you know, so surprised. You know, he's, such, he's so yeah, highly valued in Leinster and he's played such a big part over the last four years leading into this World Cup. So, um, you know, they've probably got other guys in the Irish squad that, that wouldn't have seen that coming. I think most of the guys, you know, mm. thought Dev would be over there for sure. So, um, it's still... You know, anything can happen. I remember Will Skelton went to the last World Cup and Sam Carter ended up coming and replacing him after the second game. So we, he got injured in the second game. So there's yeah. um, still a chance of, of guys going over. I don't think that squad will be settled. There's another game this week, obviously, and then um, training before that. So um, yeah. it could be a chance of, of, of getting there eventually. What, what do you do with a team out of that, James? When he comes back, is it... <laughs> Do you instantly slag him or do you shake his hand or how does it work? Uh, you, you know, he's had a million messages of support probably yeah. in the last, you know, the last few days. So, I don't know, it's probably, uh, he's probably kind of dreading almost coming back, you know. Like everyone mm. expected him to, to definitely make it. Um, obviously, obviously, I'll just give him a hug, you know, slap on the bum. And, yeah. um, 